Hey everyone, so today I am filming a 2013 The Year of Video Cerebral 93X. Filmed this video, kind of like created it a few weeks ago, and it's basically just 2013 summed up in like a nutshell. Um, I'm going to be talking about makeup, um, beauty products, hair, fashion, and just some like random favorites as well that were favorites throughout the whole entire year. So I'm going to hopefully keep this as short as possible because the lighting from Music Natural Light is changing. So if it does, I'm sorry. But I'm just going to begin. The first favorite I want to talk about is a video favorite and they're ones that I make. 2013 was the year of the fashion videos. So for me personally, throughout this past year, 2013, I have filmed so many outfit of the week videos and just fashion videos in general. Um, I don't even know. I would have to go back and count how many I've made. I have a like playlist on my channel. I'll link it down below with all of my outfit of the week videos and lookbooks and I just love making them and um, they're usually what I get the most views on so I'm guessing that you guys like watching them as well. Next I'll talk about fashion favorites. 2013 was the year of the point pants for me. If you don't know what point pants are, they're kind of like thicker leggings. I got the J Crew pixie pants the end of 2012 and like the fall and I wore them all throughout that fall and like sp up through spring in 2013 as well and then the my the back zipper kind of broke so it doesn't like to stay up anymore so I mean that's kind of bad like I shouldn't be wearing these really in public anymore because the zipper always comes down but I absolutely love these pants and they look just so nice and like structured and classy on and then I also have another pair these are maroon and these are from Kohl's they are similar they're the brand Vera Wang and like I said they're similar they're just maroon 2013 was the year of the oversized sweaters for me or just oversized like tops in general I have Two of my favorites. The first one I just recently got from American Eagle and it is this really big, like tannish colored sweater. It's really long on the back and the front and the sides kind of raise up. I've worn this in a couple Alpha of the Week videos um, recently and I really like this one because it goes with a lot. Another favorite, this is more of a, like a grandpa cardigan style it has the buttons but I got this in an oversized and it's a dark kind of white and grayish colored one and this is from American Eagle as well. 2013 was the year of the polka dotted denim vest and if you know what vest I'm talking about it's from Forever 21. Props to you because I wore this all the time like last spring and summer and even into the fall like I was probably known for the girl that had the this vest. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's from Forever 21. It's just light denim, it has like rugged sleeves, and then it has the white polka dots all over it. I wore this like crazy. I saw a few people wearing this on YouTube, and I was like, I need that vest. I'm going to Forever 21, and I'm looking for it. And then I went to Forever, I went to Forever 21, and I searched the store, and I finally found it. And I was just so happy. I was a happy camper. I had to buy it. I wore it like so many times in the summer in the spring it was absolutely crazy and I had I wore it with like a lot of different things as well and I just love this vest next I am going to be moving on to hair products so 2013 was the year of dry shampoo and I found my number one favorite dry shampoo ever and it is the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite one, like this is my favorite type and brand of dry shampoo that I have tried. I've tried like basically all the drugstore dry shampoos and this one is my favorite. I just really like how it like it leaves your hair kind of lighter but you just like brush it in or like rub it in and the it goes away, it goes back to your normal color, it absorbs all the oils wonderfully and keeps it absorbed and it gives a lot of volume as well. And it's fairly cheap, it's like five-ish dollars, but I find that this one lasts, like this can last way longer than any other brands I've ever tried. Moving on to makeup, 2013 was the year of 
the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation for me. This foundation, I bought it, I believe, in January or February. I wore it, like, all that spring, and then I took a break from, like, makeup, basically, in the summer, and then I started wearing it again in the fall and winter. This is only my second, like, container because I don't wear foundation every day. I basically been wearing it the whole year 2013 and I absolutely love it. 2013 was also the year of the Clump Crusher by Lash Blast by CoverGirl and oh my gosh this mascara and I have been through everything. I got this about the same time as that foundation back in like January February. I have a review on this along as I also have a first impressions on this. I will put it down below. I'll link them both down below for you guys. But this is probably at least my fifth tube of this. I just always go back to this mascara. Um, I get so many compliments on it. Like people think I'm wearing like false lashes while I'm wearing this, but which I'm not. But I just absolutely love this formula and what it does because it separates and lengthens and it's really dark. And I think it's comparable to their Real by Benefit mascara. And I just absolutely love this mascara. 2013 was most definitely like without even like a thought the year of urban decay naked basic palette okay so i got this palette for my birthday last year my sister gave it to me my birthday is january 15th so it's coming up in a couple days and all it has is these basic neutral colors and it has one like shimmery color and the rest are matte i literally use this palette at least once a day like if i'm wearing eyeshadow i will def i will use a eyeshadow out of this or I fill in my brows with these two colors right here if I fill in my brows and this palette is just absolutely amazing I think it's definitely a must to have and I don't know like what I would have done without this palette this year because it is just absolutely great and it's so easy to travel with as well so 2013 was the year of Essie's first timer for me I narrowed it down to only one nail polish and this is the one I chose like I said this Essie's first timer is such a like I would never have picked this color out in this store because it's I don't really like greens on my nails and this is definitely like a green color it's more of a muted like lime green but if you wear this and you kind of have like a darker skin tone like an olivey skin tone or if you have a tan like in the summer it just pops and it just looks so pretty like I can't even explain how pretty this looks on your nails in like the summer and I wore this all the time in the spring and the summer and I just absolutely loved it and I am so glad I got this and it looks good on your toes too. Okay so 2013 was the year of the sideways crosses for me. I have a few examples of this kind of like trend so I'm not for sure. I think I got these the summer of 2012 but I wore them so much in the beginning of 2013 they are my sideways cross bracelets from derng.com so I have three of them I have the rose gold the silver and the gold one and I just love how these look on your wrists they look so like classy looking and I always got so many compliments on them because I obviously was wearing them before everybody else was. Also, I have a sideways cross necklace from Claire's and I actually have, it was my third one, I just recently bought it and I can't seem to find it. Like, I don't know where I put it, which is kind of sad, but I wear that, I wore that basically like every single day in this past year. Like, it went with everything and just like made outfits and it was, I just wore it like every single day and never took it off, except when I showered, which is what I did like yesterday or two days ago and now I don't remember where I put it. Great. Nice going Nicole. Like really it's just no words. Moving on to the non-tangible like favorites. 2013 was the year of the song Cruise for me and I know I first started listening to the song when it first came out in like August of 2012 and I listened to it like forever but then it kind of became more famous um, like the beginning of 2013 and then so I listened to it again because it was on the radio all the time again and then when in the summer when Florida Georgia Line sang it with Nelly and they did like the remix pop version I absolutely love that version some people didn't like it but I personally like loved it and it just like 
remade the whole song and pushed it to last even longer and like just kind of like stuck a fire underneath it and like it blossomed and oh my gosh I'm just doing metaphors fours right now and I have no idea what I'm talking about but it just made that song just like 10 times more better and made it last even longer and I definitely think 2013 was the year of the song cruise by Florida Georgia Line. 2013 was also the year of Safe Haven, the movie with Julianne Huff and Josh Duhamel. I personally love that movie. Oh my gosh. Um, I saw it in the theater. It was so like, oh, uh, like I just can't even get over it. I have, I don't own it, but just it's seriously my favorite movie and like no words to describe it if you haven't seen that movie definitely watch it because I personally absolutely love it lastly 2013 was the year of friends for me and this is kind of like getting all like cheesy ish but I just made a lot of like good friends and had so much fun with my friends this past year and I love them so very much and I don't know what I do without them so thank you if for all my friends that might be watching this and to the friends that I will have and all the memories we made together and that we will make in the future. So that concludes my 2013 year of video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any requests, leave them down below and subscribe. I don't know which way you subscribe. Oh my gosh, I should figure that out. I will see you guys next time. Bye!